Hello. My name is Mike Ritzwaller, and I'm chair of the Department of Physics here at the University of Colorado. I welcome you to the graduation ceremony for fall of 2020. I'm speaking to you from the 11th floor commons room of the Gamoff Tower with the backdrop of the boulder flat irons behind me. Unfortunately, the seats here are devoid of students in their caps and gowns after the pandemic canceled yet another milestone for our students. We wish you could be here with us so we could meet you in person on this wonderful day of celebration of our graduates. Before making further comments, I'd like to thank the staff of the Department of Physics, in particular Veronica Lingo and Kirsten Apodaca, without whom this remote graduation celebration would not have been possible. Graduation ceremonies mark the most important points of transition in life. My children's graduations are some of my wife's and my most cherished memories. I still remember their kindergarten graduations clearly, for example. We're here to celebrate the enormous strides taken by our graduates during the time here at CU and the growth that they underwent. They made new friends, developed new skills, and discovered new things about themselves. And of course, most of this happened when family and friends weren't looking. You may not recognize the graduate as the same person from their last graduation that you may have attended. I'd like to make my first comments to our graduates. Your graduation is a tremendous achievement, but you didn't do it alone. Please take time soon to thank and continue to thank your family and friends for their support and sacrifice, which formed the foundation for your success. You can never thank the ones you love enough. I'd like to turn my comments now to families and friends. You were right to be proud of your son or daughter, your relative or friend graduating today. A physics degree is a hard degree to earn at any level, at the bachelor's degree level, master's or PhD levels. Physics graduates must be very smart, hardworking, committed, and persistent. They must solve many grueling problems designed to vex the very best minds. But a physics degree doesn't just take brilliance, it takes character. There were many times along the way when these graduates could have quit, but they did not. With their graduation, the person or people uh, you were here to celebrate have achieved something truly remarkable. Now I'd like to tell you a bit about the Department of Physics. You should know that the graduates are receiving their degrees from an excellent department and this amplifies their accomplishment. U.S. News ranks our department as number 14 in the U.S. and as number two in atomic, molecular, and optical physics, and number eight in quantum physics. It's also the largest academic department at the University of Colorado, um, and um, the third largest graduate physics program in the country, and the largest PhD program in the U.S. In fact, we graduate about 2% of all PhD degrees uh, in physics in the United States. We have a distinguished faculty who are highly decorated in both research and teaching, totaling more than 100 if you count all faculty who teach and direct research. One of our faculty is a National Physics Professor of the Year. In research, a number of faculty are members of the National Academy of Science, and four of them have been recognized with Nobel Prizes. This is actually the off uh, semester for graduation, but we're still celebrating 21 bachelor's degrees, an MS degree, and 12 PhD degrees. We have four bachelor degree students graduating with Latin honors, which requires writing and defending an original thesis project. During today's ceremony, we will also recognize the outstanding undergraduate physics students and arts and sciences, as well as the College of Engineering, and we will award the Stephen Halley White Award for outstanding undergraduate research. We had many amazing undergraduate research projects this year. After the awards, we'll recognize each of the graduating students individually. Before moving to acknowledge each of the graduates, I'd like to say a few words about this semester. We're living through unprecedented and trying times um, during this coronavirus pandemic. Our classes are a mix of in-person and remote, and we are largely scattered and sequestered at home. We're conducting much of our business via Zoom or phone. However, our labs have reopened, and we continue to make progress in science and education, and I'm confident that in the not-too-distant future, we will return to normalcy. But the graduates today succeeded in spite of conditions that are far from normal. Graduates, you may or may not remember the year 2020 fondly. You certainly will remember it as a time when people were wearing masks and social distancing, when you were not able to mingle with your friends and family normally without worry. And people you know, perhaps yourself, got sick. I hope over time this memory of 2020 will fade for you and eventually your memory of 2020 as the year you graduated from CU will become ascendant. During your time here at CU, you learned how to tackle physics problems, whether they be by pencil and paper, via computer, or in the lab. You're problem solvers. 
two words of advice. First, work on problems that are difficult and don't yet have a solution so that you are the solver of new problems. And two, don't be overly cautious. The world will be different in the post-pandemic future. There will be new challenges and new opportunities open to you. The brave new world we'll all be facing needs problem solvers like you. Finally, please stay in touch. We want to know how you, uh, how you advance in life, and we take great pride in your being part of our departmental family. Thank you very much. Each semester, the Department of Physics recognizes academic excellence with several awards. Here are the award winners this semester. The outstanding student graduating with a degree in engineering physics from the College of Engineering and Applied Science is Casey Micho. And the outstanding student graduating with a degree in physics from the College of Arts and Sciences is Jared Riley. In addition, we recognize excellence in research with the Stephen Halley White Award. This semester's awardee is Jared Riley. And now, I'd like to introduce Jared Riley, who is this semester's undergraduate commencement speaker. Hi, everyone. I'm Jared Riley, and I worked in Murray Holland's uh, theoretical quantum optics group for the past two and a half years. Um, I have a lot of people to thank for helping me get to this point. I first have to thank uh, Stephen Haley White and Jackie Dooley, as well as uh, Thomas Bliska and Gray Boyce for their generous donations. Um, and I, of course, have to thank Murray Holland for letting a wide-eyed freshman into his uh, theory lab um, and trusting me with my own projects. Uh, some grad students to thank. Uh, first and foremost is John Bartolotta. Um, he really helped me get started in quantum mechanics at a very uh, early age. And he has been a great help as a collaborator. Um, and I've really enjoyed working with uh, two projects with him. Um, I next have to thank Ethraya Shankar. Um, he sat behind me in, in our lab and he was always there to answer questions about my homework or a paper that I was reading or anything. Um, and I'm extremely excited that we are continuing to work together uh, even after he's graduated. Um, and I have to thank the rest of our group members, uh, Hanan, Lillian, uh, Simone, Gage, and John. Um, They've always been there to answer my questions. And uh, I've always loved our group lunches together before the world shut down. Um, I also have to thank uh, Jun Yi for recommending me for this award. Um, and uh, Magda Schubeck for joining my honors council, um, even though that I was presenting a, a something way outside of her field. Um, I have to thank Jinx Cooper for uh, always asking me very tough questions that often led to a deeper understanding of the physics that I was studying. Um, and lastly, I need to thank uh, Professor Chuck Rogers, uh, who is my physics one professor for introducing me to Murray. Um, encouraging me to start research and for answering uh, questions after basically every class. Um, and I just want to thank the entire CU physics department in general for uh, a very welcoming and open environment uh, that helped me and a lot of people that I know get through a very hard subject uh, in a fun and um, engaging way. Thank you. Now we'd like to recognize the undergraduate students graduating from the College of Engineering and Applied Science in the College of Arts and Sciences. Professor Michael Dubson, Associate Chair for Undergraduate Studies in the Department of Physics, will be reading their names. Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Dubson. I'm the Associate Chair for Undergraduate Studies. And today it is my honor to read the names of our undergraduate majors who are today graduating. I'll begin with a list of the names of our majors in the College of Engineering who are receiving a degree of Bachelor of Science in Physics. Kaisi Micho. Jack Tanner. 
Zachary Withrow and Jun Yan. Hi, everyone. I'm really happy all my mom and dad and all my family members have helped me, supported me to, use, to go through all my undergraduate career. Uh, I'm really happy to meet all the friends in my scientific research. All of them have appointed me some mistakes and uh, that make me grow to be a better researcher. Um, I will still keep my light shine uh, through the rest of my life, uh, especially in, in ac academic career. Um, I will keep, keep grow uh, and become this part of university uh, forever. Now I'll read the names of our graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences who are receiving a degree of Bachelor of Arts in Physics. Anakata Aschenbrenner. Zhang Dong. John Henry Fitzgerald. Joshua Forrestal. Bing Xin Guo. Xiao Feng Lin. Edward McDonald. Ethan Myers. Jared Riley. Antonio Reynoso. I had to do a voice recording because I don't think I'd have been able to keep a composed face. But first to my grandma and my grandpa, thank you for everything you did for me and I miss you. To my mom and my dad, thank you for supporting my life decisions and for shouldering my burdens when I was overwhelmed. To my aunt, thank you for being like a second mother. Finally, to my sisters, Gabby and Ale, thank you for all the times you'd call out of worry for me when I was away for college. I love you all. Brendan Stories. John Tate. Melody Tovar Angela Tucker Jun Lang Wang Caleb Wexler and Dylan Wharton Congratulations to our graduating physics majors. Hi everyone, my name is Kirsten Apodaca and I'm the undergrad program manager for the Department of Physics. I just want to say congratulations to all of our fall 2020 graduating students. You did it. Um, it's been such a pleasure to get to know you and help support you over the years and I am so excited to see what the future holds for you. Congratulations to all of you. We would like now to turn to recognizing our graduate students. But first, a PhD graduate Joshua Knobloch has prepared a graduation address for us today. Congratulations to all of the graduates. The summation of our enduring efforts along with the support of our friends and family have led us to this culmination of our education career. I hope that today's recognition ceremony can celebrate and honor our well-earned degrees. All of us have faced hardships throughout our journeys to this moment. Whether bachelor's, master's, or PhD, we encountered adversity, both typical and unprecedented, both old and novel. And not only in this year, but also in the years prior. While challenging times can often be stressful, uncertain, or even heartbreaking, the conquest of these difficulties often uncovers new opportunities, or more importantly, discovers deeper truths about ourselves. In other words, it is frequently the struggles which point us to interesting adventures. A paraphrased ancient saying illustrates this well. Obstacles are not in the way, obstacles are the way. Through my own experience navigating my way through graduate school, I stumbled on, tripped over, and fell into a broad spectrum of challenges. Whether it was a publisher rejecting one of my papers, or my friend and I nearly flooding our lab, I did not find either of these events particularly pleasant. However, these obstacles necessitated action, which changed both my attitudes and approaches. 
It was rather frustrating to hear that the results of three years of intense research was too uninteresting to be published. However, that critical response provided opportunities to recognize how my research could be better communicated and to understand my own work better. Similarly, it was quite stressful to watch our expensive, world-class equipment be doused with an unrelenting stream of water emanating from this extensive crack in our plumbing. However, that experience influenced us to alter our future approach. Now, when we work in lab, we try to avoid troubleshooting equipment issues too late at night. And we now realize that the optimum way to fix a leak is not just to try and tighten the fittings more. I mean, the reason for that being, well, the fittings are probably gonna break. But I'd like to point out one last experience of mine where this concept has played out. During the early years of my graduate career, my team and I used our experiment to characterize the stiffness of ultra thin films. We spent countless late hours in the lab wrestling with the measurements and devoted many months to increasingly complex analysis to try to figure out these films. Fortunately, all of these endeavors only resulted in more confusion. We soon discovered that the samples that we had been studying had been fabricated incorrectly, basically rendering all of our efforts useless. So disappointedly, we shelved the project both virtually and mentally and moved on in other directions. Towards the end of my graduate career, surprisingly, we realized that those same measurements on those same accidental samples were related to a new study we were currently working on. Therefore, we went back and recalled the old data analysis from our archives, and those miscreations soon became the focal point of a high quality publication. This summer, that publication was highlighted in the Jill Times and CU Boulder Today, and even resulted in an interview by Colorado Public Radio. Now, whenever an experiment takes a left turn or when the analysis seems completely meaningless, I have this internal hope that maybe, just maybe, this broken project is gonna be the next discovery. Today, we live in interesting times. I hope that all of us, and myself included, could be inspired to recognize that adversity necessitates action. And may these actions provide us opportunities to learn more about ourselves and to help others. In closing, I will quote F. Scott Fitzgerald. The test of a first-rate intelligence is, to, is the ability to hold two opposed ideas in mind at the same time and still retain the ability to function. One should, for example, be able to see that things are hopeless and yet be determined to make them otherwise. Again, congratulations to all of the graduates. And now we'd like to honor students who have graduated with a PhD degree in the Department of Physics. This is a defining moment in the students' academic careers. So several of their thesis advisors have recorded thoughts and well wishes. Professor Murray Holland, Associate Chair for Graduate Studies in the Department of Physics will be reading their names. Hello everyone, my name is Murray Holland and I'm a professor here in the Department of Physics. I would like to send a quick message to share a few thoughts. Uh, to congratulate all of the students from this graduating class and in particular as the current uh, graduate chair of the department uh, to really applaud the tremendous collective accomplishments of the graduate students who will be receiving their PhD and master's degrees. Our postgraduate degrees in physics represent more than just a piece of paper, they represent the completion of a substantial body of work. The PhD in particular uh, is a, a long-term project, five, six, seven years, that, that really begins by establishing uh, expertise, world-leading expertise in a very specific area through study, in uh, being creative in establishing uh, a, a research project, and then in completing this substantial body of work of individual research, either in the theoretical or experimental arenas. Those that uh, have completed this deserve the very highest accolades from society. Um, so let me just uh, finish by just saying that we wish all of you uh, the best, um, the best to everyone uh, who is graduating as you pass on to the next stage. And uh, keep in touch, we're not going anywhere. I have the pleasure to announce the name of the student who is graduating today with the degree of Master of Science in Physics. Brooks Christensen. I will now continue by announcing the names of the students who are graduating today 
with the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Physics. Charles Beavis Charlie, you have our heartfelt congratulations on completing a very successful PhD and also just being a great person to have around in the labs at DILA. And uh, we can guarantee you that the first chance we have will be visiting you and your postdoc in Italy. To have so, the celebration <laughs> dinner in person. Yes. So good once again, congratulations. Sven Dengis. Sven came to us from Richard Berns group in Kiel in Germany. Uh, this is a person I admire for his great science and humbleness. Uh, and he's one of the early pioneers in our field of the study of light emission from the tip of a needle, as we colloquially call uh, the nanoscale light matter interaction in a scanning probe microscope. So Sven spent half of his time with this ultra fast laser system where he performed early in his PhD career the as of today still leading ultra fast nano imaging experiment uh, with far from equilibrium excitation uh, in a quantum system. The other half of his life uh, Sven spent um, with his new near field instrument he developed inside this cryostat and vacuum chamber. Uh, and somewhere in between, uh, Sven was successful on two molecular matter projects, one in nanoscale imaging, um, the other endeavor when he spent uh, with his wife, Kate, um, to reproduce. Uh, and I hope to have that product uh, as a group member uh, in the future. So with this instrument, Sven transitioned the group into vacuum and low temperature optical nanophysics, uh, accessing um, a new physical parameter regime for the study of molecular and quantum materials. Uh, also with a new instrument, Sven was instrumental to develop and which will arrive next year. Sven will leave a big legacy uh, and shape the future of the group. The project Sven initiated cost almost as much as all previous PhD students combined. So this will either ruin me uh, and be the end of my career, or more likely push us to new heights. Um, and I can only really conclude by saying uh, thank you, Sven. And when you will leave us, uh, we will miss you. Kevin Gilmore. Hi, Kevin. Congratulations for receiving a very well-deserved PhD degree in physics. All of us are very proud of you and all your accomplishments. Not only you completed that set of very impressive and impactful experiments in the Penin Trap, but you wrote a very complete and very well-written thesis that I enjoyed very much reading it. It was so very nice to interact with you and serve as a, your CU advisor. I know you have a great future ahead. We will miss you here very much, but I'm sure you will continue doing great things at Honeywell. Hope we can keep in touch and you can keep us posted of all the great achievements you do there. Congratulations one more time. Cheers. Hi, Kevin. Congratulations on completing an impressive and very comprehensive thesis. I really appreciated the, your steady contributions during the four plus years that you worked in the Penning Lab. Um, you have a knack of working well with everyone. Um, thanks for giving continuity as various people left and new people joined the project. There were some tense moments. Um, I wasn't sure we were going to get that superinducting magnet charge last fall, especially when we looked down the demountable lead board and saw that loose wire. So best wishes as you go to Honeywell and build the world's most powerful quantum computer. Have fun and keep in touch. Kyle Gordon. 
Hi, I'm Dan Dessau. I was Kyle Gordon's PhD advisor here. Kyle, um, it was such a pleasure working with you and being your advisor here for the past few years. Uh, you did an amazing job uh, and I'm so proud of you. It was just such a pleasure to do physics with you, to learn physics with you. And um, yeah, so I am, again, I'm very proud uh, to have spent these years with you and I'm looking forward to hearing the great things that you do in the future and to hear about um, yeah, your life in the future. So congrats and, and enjoy. Rebecca Jolitz. Tenise Joyce. Joshua Knobloch. I'm honored and grateful to be receiving my degree today. This momentous accomplishment would not be possible without the countless hours of effort devoted by many individuals. First, I'd like to acknowledge my advisors, Margaret and Henry, for their vision, support, and guidance. Also, I'd like to thank my research team, Nico, Bego, Travis, and Brendan for their unwavering dedication and priceless friendship. Additionally, I wish to thank my family and friends for all their love and support, especially Dad, Mom, and Leah. Lastly, thank you to Abigail and Fletcher for everything. And congratulations to all of the other graduates. Hello, Josh. This is Margaret and Henry. Uh, Hi. W- w- congratulating you on a richly deserved PhD thesis. Uh, you are a master at experiment, computation, simulations, working with others, mentoring students, and just doing a huge range of nanoscience. And we want to wish you and Abby and Fletcher a wonderful holiday. And we're so proud of you. Ji Chen Ma. Jacob Petene. Joseph Semenyago. Jordan Stone Zhenchen Zhai Our faculty are disappointed that they can't be with our graduates today, but they would like to express their congratulations remotely. Good job, guys. Good job. This brings our graduation ceremony in the fall of 2020 to a close. Thank you so much for sharing this special time of celebration of our graduates with us. We hope to be able to meet you in person in the not too distant future. Thank you.